Hey guys, I've got uh, Bear over there and Angel down there. And uh, Angel's still struggling a bit with her uh, ACL, so if you see her get up and struggle, that's kind of what's going on. And she was just outside playing around a little bit, so if you see her struggle, that's what's happening. Um, but today I wanted to highlight the differences between the uh, Ultra Bookshelf and the SVS Prime Tower. And uh, for those of you that don't know, I'm the world's first SVS affiliate. And so following my links makes a big difference for me. Uh, YouTube has recently throttled back some of my videos and uh, it's been happening to a lot of different creators. And so it's just one of those bumps in the road for me. But, um, you know, right now it makes support for my audience priceless. Uh, I really appreciate it. So whether you guys follow my links uh, like my videos, share them, sub, uh, subscribe, uh, comments. It all makes a difference. It's all engagement and it all helps the channel grow. So I really appreciate that. It, it really does, it makes a huge difference. Um, anyway, uh, the Ultra Series is uh, SVS's top of the line speaker series. And so that's the best of what they have to offer. The Prime Series was designed uh, to you know deliver as, as much I don't know, almost the same performance for about half the price, generally speaking. And so, and they, they really do a pretty good job of that. Uh, some of the differences between the, the Ultra line and the Prime line, uh, you know, is like cabinet design. Uh, you'll notice the uh, uh, Ultra bookshelf is a little bit wider than the Prime Tower. It's just a bigger box. It's kind of the same thing got going on with the uh, centers. The, the, the center channel is beefier. It's deeper, it's taller, it's wider. Uh, it's got bigger drivers in it. It's just more speaker. And all of them, uh, all of the Ultra Series can be biamped. Uh, honestly, I haven't gotten into biamping speakers yet. Um, I've been more focused on other things. It's something I do want to try in the future, but I can't speak to the value of biamping uh, speakers. And kind of where I'm at is if I'm going to biamp my front, so I'm going to biamp my center too. So that means I need an additional three channels to do that. So I just haven't got into that yet. So I don't know if you guys think biamping is awesome, put it in the comments. I'm curious to get your feedback on that. Uh, but all the speakers within the SVS line are, are match sound. So it, mixing and matching is perfectly okay. And in some cases it makes a lot of sense. So the Prime Series Tower uh, and the Ultra Series Center, that kind of makes sense to mix and match those because they're pretty much the same speaker. I mean, you've got six inch drivers, uh, a mid-range and a tweeter. It's kind of the same thing. It's just in a smaller, pa smaller package. Uh, so that's one of those it makes sense to mix and match and I and I do like the prime center uh, quite a bit but the ultra center is just a little bit nicer and uh, you know your your center channel is really important especially for home theater so that's one of those cases where it makes sense to mix and match and I think the better the amp setup the more you might notice the difference in sound um, and one thing I found really impressive was that the ultra bookshelf uh, delivers a comparable sound in a two-way configuration versus the three and a half way. Now, if you guys are uh, a little unsure on what three and a half way is, so this has got a woofer and a tweeter, that's an obvious two-way. And this has got a, a tweeter, a mid-range, uh, and two woofers. But because it's got a different, uh, what do you call it, crossover for each woofer, the sound that comes out is a little bit different. So they're both woofers, but they're slightly different. So that makes it a three and a half way. So it's a really cool design. I like it. Um, but the fact that the Ultra Bookshelf, uh, I, you're not lose. I, I didn't notice losing anything with the uh, Ultra Bookshelf. Whereas you know you'd think, well, this has got you know, it's it's more speaker. You'd notice a difference, and there is a difference uh, that I'll get into, but uh, it's not dramatic. And so it, it's really impressive. Um, and one thing I'll add is if you're trying to uh, run two channel without subs, the towers are a no brainer in that situation. Uh, the towers definitely have better bass. Uh, they go deeper, it's more of a full sound. Uh, and, and so if you're, I mean, I think you should run subwoofers with pretty much any speaker. I mean, there are some that might buck that trend, but we're talking 
you're going to need gobs and gobs and gobs of wattage to really deliver the same dynamics that you'll get from a subwoofer. So I think you should run subs anyway, but if you're going to run without subs, the towers are a no-brainer. Uh, and I think it, it, you know, it's more important to run subs if you're running bookshelf speakers. That's for sure. Uh, and you know, the decision for you personally may come down to aesthetics or room. You know, if you don't have all the room to run towers, you know, bookshelves may more may make more sense. Um, it may be a matter of personal taste. Whatever your reason is, it's pretty hard to go wrong with either one of these. They they both sound really good. Uh, and I'm sending the the prime towers and the prime center back. You know, I, these uh, all of the SVS products are on loan uh, for me to use for making content and things like that. So, uh, they are mine to keep. I send them back, uh, when I'm done with them and I get to do these comparisons and things like that. So that's cool. But I'm really going to miss these, uh, these towers. They're very good speakers and they're, you know, they, they've got these independent enclosures. So the woofers are, have, they have their own cabinets and then that's separated from the mid-range and the tweeters. So the woofers are not uh, influencing the, the mid-range and the tweeter. So that's a little bit more of a, um, I don't know, sophisticated design than a lot of what you'll find in the same price range. Uh, so I think, uh, I think it's, ex you know, they're extremely well built, okay? And I don't think in any way you could call these uh, a budget tower or an entry level tower. No way. I've had these compared against, uh, I had a friend loan me some uh, Paradigm Towers, and those were the Signature 80 series, I believe, 10-year-old speaker, okay? I, I'm not saying it's a fair comparison, but uh, those towers were, I think, 1600 a apiece. Uh, and if this makes any sense, the SVS did a better disappearing act. So you heard more of the music than actually hearing the speaker itself. And that's kind of an abstract thing to say, but I really was more impressed with the sound that came from the SVS towers. The, the paradigms were much taller, much bigger. I mean, they looked more impressive, that's for sure. But in terms of actual sound, closing your eyes and listening, um, I really was more impressed. And, and I think that's a common theme as you go through and read some of the reviews of other people. Uh, these really are a well-designed tower speaker. I'm really impressed with them. Uh, and, you know, compared to what you'd find in a local box store, I think you're getting a lot more bang for your buck. Uh, and, you know, I gotta say that SVS speakers have been, uh, you know, a very pleasant surprise for me. I went into this whole channel and all this stuff knowing that SVS did excellent when it comes to subwoofers. When it comes to bass, SVS is cream of the crop, okay? Um, but their speakers, I think, deserve just as much as, as attention because they're really, they're really impressive. Uh, I've listened to some more expensive, big old floor standing speakers at the local box store with $7,000 amplifiers and all that stuff. And I didn't see where that extra $24,000 went. <laughs> I, in terms of just how it sounded, I, I'm, just, I'm really impressed with these. So they, they really are uh, a high value speaker. And so, uh, you know, and the towers, they weigh 40 pounds a piece. Uh, and because I was moving them around today, getting ready for the shoot, and I picked them up. I'm like, man, these feel almost as heavy as the PC2000s, the, the cylinder down firing sub. Uh, the SVS makes, and I looked it up, and yeah, those things weigh about 57 pounds. Uh, the towers weigh about 40 pounds. So, they're a very, very solid speaker. And the, the uh, Ultra Bookshelves, they weigh about 20 pounds, which is what some other tower speakers weigh complete. So, you know, it's, it's a very hefty stuff. Um, but anyway, I, is, if I had to sum it up and, and just kind of do a final thought on these, I would say that the uh, Ultra Bookshelves, they have a bit more sparkle to them. And it, that's a hard thing to describe, but it's just a little bit more sparkle, okay? Whereas the Prime Towers are a little bit more full sounding. And 
I don't know how to describe that, um, but that's the best thing I can come up with it, to explain the differences. Uh, and I think that line gets blurred a bit more when you add the subwoofers into the mix, because I would listen with no EQ, no nothing, just two channel, no subs, I'd compare. And then I went back and listened with the subs and compared, and you know, just all this stuff. And so that's kind of what I came up with, is that the Ultras just have a bit more sparkle to them. And, you know, if that makes your decision easier, cool. I, I'm, I'm just kind of giving you what my impression is. Uh, I don't know. Speakers are more subjective uh, than subwoofers. Subwoofers are easy for me. I can look at a subwoofer. I can look at, ex at its specs without ever hearing it and tell you whether I think it has a shot of making the list or not. I know some people would say, oh, that's wrong, you're, you're doing it wrong, you're supposed to give everything a fair listen. But honestly, I, I, I kind of know what I'm doing when it comes to subs, and I can look at a sub and say, nope, not there yet. Uh, and that's the great majority of what's out there. With speakers, it's more subjective. You People may like, uh, people may prefer electrostats. Uh, people may prefer beryllium cones, all that stuff. And I can't fault anybody for that. Uh, but in terms of just, you know, a good quality, good value speaker that delivers a really, really nice sound, uh, I don't know, SVS is definitely worth a look. It's worth your consideration anyway. Uh, it's, again, it's been one of my bigger surprises in doing this channel was, you know, my, you know, one of my bigger surprises was going duels. That was one of those things I, I had no idea how important that was until I heard it. And I was like, oh my gosh, it's so important. But, you know, my other big surprise was SVS, which is typically a subwoofer company, makes phenomenal speakers. And so that's been my other really big surprise in doing all this. Um, but anyway, that's just kind of my summation of, of these speakers and uh, kind of my thoughts on it. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, I'm curious what you think about the differences. I know some of my viewers are very particular about uh, liking bookshelves over towers. Other people really prefer towers, so I'm curious what you guys think. Uh, but I just want to give you my thoughts on these. Um, like I said, it's really hard to go wrong either way. A lot of it kind of boils down to secondary stuff, like whether you want to buy amp uh, or whether you just don't have room. But um, I, I'm really impressed with these speakers. They, they really are it's a, it's a beautiful sound. So uh, anyway, guys, let me know what you think. Uh, put your comments down below. And uh, again, please subscribe.